celiac disease affects approximately 3.4 million people in the United States, but up to 2.8 million, 83%, remain undiagnosed. Celiac disease affects all ages, genders, and races. A variety of things come into play for a person who has the genes for celiac disease to develop the condition. For one, gluten must be in the diet. Second, there is an as yet unknown environmental trigger. Additionally, other factors are still being researched. The likelihood for being diagnosed with celiac disease could be influenced by race or ethnicity for several reasons, including less access to medical care and a lower likelihood of being referred to a specialist, also known as a referral bias. Research indicates that black and Hispanic patients have reduced odds of receiving appropriate celiac disease testing when presenting with related symptoms. You know, um, I can actually go back to when I was a child. I'd get terrible stomach aches when I had things like sweets and pizza and all the things that kids love. When my parents took me to the doctor, it was always brushed off, right? Eat more fiber, drink more water, exercise more. Um, fast forward to adulthood where I learned just to avoid the foods that didn't make me feel well, um, which worked to an extent. You know, every few years, the symptoms were pretty unbearable and I'd go to a doctor um, and they would connect those symptoms to something else, right? Pain in my stomach became, you know, ovarian cysts. Bloating was, I need to drink more water and eat more fiber. One doctor literally said the words to me, I understand many of your cultural foods are fried. Perhaps you should cut back on those things. I really remember feeling somewhat helpless and enraged. So I turned to the internet. I don't suggest that all the time. You know, I, I Google search things like, you know, symptoms misdiagnosed, gastro symptoms misdiagnosed for, you know, Blacks and Hispanics. You know, I dedicated some time to also researching a new gastroenterologist. I specifically wanted to see a woman of color. Um, I wanted to really feel seen and to be heard um, because I had reached the point where I couldn't live with these symptoms anymore. I did find someone as soon as she walked in the door. I remember, you know, I said, I've been ignored by white doctors. I've been suffering with these symptoms for most of my life. You know, I want to be tested for celiacs, Crohn's and everything in between. And she placed her hand on my shoulder. I absolutely think we should run these tests and see what's going on here. They found out that I had celiacs um, and ileitis and you know, sadly, I felt relieved by my diagnosis. Um, it gave me a sense of relief. I immediately cut all gluten out of my life, you know, which was a huge undertaking and it felt, I felt very overwhelmed by it, but I made the adjustments and saw a huge improvement in my symptoms in just a few weeks. Well, I've probably been having symptoms since I was like a young child because I had very poor attendance. Um, probably throughout grade school because I always had uh, rashy skin, but chronic migraines from like age seven and was going to like specialists like my whole life. But it wasn't until basically in 2016, kind of like every autoimmune, it seemed like it seemed to arrive, like my joints were swollen. So they thought I had rheumatoid. So they tested for that. My stomach was distended, um, I had a lesion, and since being an African-American female, they thought I had lupus. Um, then the doctor thought it could have been thyroid disease, and they kept testing for everything, and everything came up negative. And then there was a black nurse who said, hmm, anyone test you for celiac? And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> and she just said, I think I want to run that test because she had it. Because I was like, why? She said, because I have it myself. And then when she did the test, it came back positive. Never thought of celiac because of the fact of my color. Like most of the doctors, it never even dawned on them to even test me. Beyond Celiac is partnering with the National Minority Quality Forum to better understand the geographic and demographic distribution of celiac disease across the U.S. and to identify potential healthcare disparities that may affect diagnosis. For phase one of the project, Beyond Celiac and NMQF created a celiac index similar to the ones developed for other conditions, including cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and lupus. The celiac index shows where people with Medicare and Medicaid had healthcare claims for celiac disease and other related conditions in 2016. Through this, 
Diagnosed celiac disease cases were mapped across the country. Then, related conditions were used to map potentially undiagnosed cases of celiac disease as well. The index revealed that a large majority of eligible patients that had celiac disease claims were white. In fact, though Medicaid was more diverse, only 2.9% of Medicare beneficiaries with celiac disease claims in 2016 were black. Geographically, people with celiac disease-related health care claims were located primarily in the Northeast and Midwest, with fewer in the South. Distribution of people who did not have celiac disease claims, but who did have claims for irritable bowel syndrome and anemia, showed the opposite geographic distribution, primarily located in the South. This may suggest that some of these patients have celiac disease and are undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. A higher percentage of people with claims for irritable bowel syndrome and anemia were black compared to the beneficiaries with claims for celiac disease. This may partially explain why so few black beneficiaries had celiac disease claims in 2016. This study provides some initial evidence about geographic and demographic distribution of celiac disease, which may indicate disparities in the diagnosis of the disease across the U.S. While more research is needed to confirm these initial observations, Beyond Celiac is working to identify and address disparities in order to help improve health outcomes for high-risk racial and ethnic populations and communities. In addition to helping all people with celiac disease get the care they need, it may also improve the likelihood of future treatments being approved by the FDA by increasing the diversity of those participating in clinical trials. Beyond Celiac is accelerating transformational research towards treatments and the cure for celiac disease, but we can't do it alone. You can help by visiting beyondceliac.org forward slash summer beyond to make a donation to support this important work.